this watery background, you haven't seen it in so long. Now, I got a huge haul Jackson art, okay? I am so excited. Um, and I got a bunch of paints, uh, brands I've never even tried before, so hopefully they're good. So I'm gonna go through um, the different colors uh, color families that I got and then let's see what we're inspired to paint today and I'm gonna put like a swatch on here just so I could see um, and compare so let's start with the purple family so the new paint I got was called Old Holland it's not new it's actually I read it's like the oldest um, oil painting company so they must know what they're doing this color is cobalt cobalt violet light extra Ooh, it's a very yeah, that's like my jam, right? Is this light horrible though? Because you can't see anything? I hope not. Let's see. Uh, it could be horrible, but you kind of get the picture. Okay, violet. Oh yeah, I'll go like that. Okay, the next one I have, which also I'm excited for, is violet gray. Oh. <laughs> you hear all your calling sneakers. Um, okay, so violet gray, so pretty. Ooh, love it. All right. Yeah, right. Nice. Okay. Then we have transparent. Oh, this brand, by the way, is called Schminky, another European brand. Um, this is transparent violet. I hope we're inspired to do something fun today, right? Transparent. Is it transparent? It's pretty dark. I'm sure it is transparent, you know, when it's stretched out. Um, here's the transparent violet, okay? This one is also schminky. Primacryl, by the way, finest artist acrylic. Blue violet, okay. Blue violet. Also a really pretty color. Okay, so I've got some good violet action happening, right? Really nice, okay. Now, let's go to the blues. That's the biggest section. Uh, I've used this before, anthraquinone, but I thought um, it was always sold out uh, in Canada, so I thought I would get some. Anyways, ooh, it's like a very almost mauvey blue. Here, let's go over here with it. Okay. How fun pretty dark and I'm curious to compare it with the next one indigo see how dark it is mm. yeah okay let's compare it to indigo also schminky schminky indigo all right let's see oh so indigo is a bit even darker okay then anthraquinone by the way okay if you can see, yeah, a bit darker. Right, now, we have a blue <clears throat> I'm excited for in the tube. I haven't opened it yet. This is called Delft Blue. Delft. Let's see how she plays. It's lighter than the other blues, looks like. But, yeah, really interesting. Like, you can see it's a bit deeper than the anthraquinone. If, I hope you can. Um, yeah, deeper. Okay. Now, ooh, this is like stressful, isn't it? Okay, aquamarine, nice. I mean, not stressful, just like, I really want you guys to, oh, that's a pretty color, to get like a good idea of these colors and this lighting really sucks. Here's the aquamarine, right? Okay, cerulean, you know, good old cerulean. I don't know why I bought this, but, cause I'm sure I have lots of cerulean. It's a weird color actually. I don't know how much I'll use it. <laughs> it's kind of like, you know, I mean, it's not bad, but I wouldn't use it as like a, um, as a main character or anything. And we have cobalt blue turquoise, which is an all time fave, right? I'm really curious to see how, oh, it's so pretty. Curious to see how these paints mix up, these old Holland paints. 
Okay, so we got the blues. Kind of cool, right? Let's go to yellows. I got Indian yellow hue. So the reason I got these is because, like I said, some of these colors in my Canadian store, I usually order from Desairs. They don't have them. So it's a really like, um, I love this. It's like an orangey. I love these like orangey tan, tan yellows. Okay. All right. Now, how fun is this? I don't know why I got it this way or what this is. Okay. This is Gamboge Extra. Okay. And look at how deep it is. Let's see what happens. All right. It's very thick. I really, it is giving me not a, you know how I use um, my the yellow that I always use, which I just forgot right now. It's very similar to that, but really pretty. I'm, I'm really liking that color a lot. Now I have um, Old Holland Yellow Light. I hope this isn't boring, I don't know. Um, pr pretty, I love these really like pale lemon yellow colors, right? Just like a hint of yellow, no big whoop. Nickel Azo Brown Lemon, okay? Now you know these Nickel Azos always look like kind of baby poop. Let's see. Okay, it's not horrible. And they always look better stretched out, but I always get nervous using them because they're just so poopy, you know? And finally in the yellow, we have Titan, oh, Titan Buff Deep. Now you know I use Titan Buff Light all the time and I was curious what the diff is and it pretty looks honestly looks very similar but that's okay because i really like the color all right and that's the titan buff deep all right let's move to um this fun color i got a random red color this is from the brand lascaux 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 yeah, it looks swiss this color, by the way, is Cadmium Red Bordeaux, which looked really fun, right? And it seems like it's a reddy, purpley, you know, reddy, purpley is kind of up my alley. So that's this color here. Pretty, right? If you can see. Then I have this Burnt Ochre Light. Sure. It's a very, it's like a skin, skin tone, kind of. So when I'm portrait painting, I can definitely use that as well. And then I have this iridescent black. What is that all about? So those are all my colors that I got. Now, uh, what am I gonna do with them? Let's see, is this black even iridescent? It does not even look iridescent. I mean, does it? Not really, is it? Boring. We'll give it a go anyways, but iridescent not like we're used to right so these are all the colors what jumps out at me well what i'd like to use is the delft blue right that looks fun and guys feel free to give me like color combo inspos so i'm gonna use the delft blue and of course i'm really liking <clears throat> that um violet gray you know what else was exciting Ooh. This really excited me. The gamboge, right? Um, what are we looking at? I need a purple. So let's go back to the purples and see what looks good here. Um, you know what? This violet, cobalt violet light looks nice with it. Ooh, are these crazy colors? Maybe. So, so far, the tubes, I think my first four, and of course I'll put piggies in the middle somehow. But I want to try out these colors is that crazy you let me know what you think okay stick around see you in a sec okay so what i decided to do is mix up uh some extra colors that i wanted to make a palette with and for my first pour i'm gonna not use any piggies whatsoever which is so hard for me but i know people say you know i can't afford pigments or whatever it is and that's totally fine let's see what happens i'm gonna do pour with all just two paints and then I'm going to compare with just one maybe interference to see 
you know, the difference and if, if it's even worth it. I personally just love sparkle, so I can't contain myself. So I mixed up this Gamboge Extra. It was um, kind of thick, so you do have to mix it a bit longer. Um, the rest were very smooth to mix in. I got that um, Old Holland Yellow Light, okay. And I got that Delft Blue Primacryl, the Schminky really um, mixed in nicely. It's a little thinner than these Old Hollands. Um, Violet Gray, definitely gonna become a fave. Cobalt Violet Light and Blue Violet. Now, I don't know, um, I think I'm gonna use, I, I have P Payne's Gray Shelly Art Cell Activator. So therefore, oh, I'm just using this because um, I don't wanna waste it. <clears throat> Problem number two, I'm using Color To Go, Sherwin-Williams. In Canada, or the ones I get, for some reason, are very thick. People in the States are saying it's very thin. This is all I have right now, so that's what I'm using. Um, I think I'm probably, for my white, gonna stick with my essentials or um, mix this to thin it out a bit. Um, sometimes I just add the Sherwin-Williams Deep Base to thin it out. Or people, um, you can add a little flow troll. You don't want to add too much of anything, but if you have to, you can. On the other side, people are saying it's too thick. You can leave it open for a few days. Um, I just want to, because this tricks you. It's very thick, but it spins very far. So I want to make sure I'm not putting too much because we don't want her to crack. So I'm just kind of spreading her out. I might put a little bit more right in the middle, but okay. <clears throat> Boo blaze out. So first one we're doing, just a little bit more right here. First one we're doing is just two bees. I always love starting with a yellow. This is that gamboge, so fancy. Uh, is this, can you see this color? Yeah. I'm trying to figure out my lighting here. It's kind of hard because I'm in bright daylight um, and I have my fancy lights. So I don't, I'm trying not to blow my colors out. Okay, that's that violet. Okay. You know, when I first started blooming, I had no pigments. I was just using mostly Amsterdam or Teza, you know. It's definitely a different look because you get really popping cells. Your cell structure definitely stays up better if you're a beginner. Delft, Delft blue. Okay. And we have this light violet. Okay. Then we have this light yellow, kind of thick. I'll go like this. Okay, now my cell activator might have thickened up a bit. Let me check her out. It's a little thick, but we'll do it. So I'm gonna have to blow really hard because this paint, this pillow's thick. So bear with me while I give this a go. Okay, <clears throat> here we go. You see how my blow did get very far as it normally does? okay is this even exciting us I'm not sure yet I find when your pillow is too thick see how I'm getting a lot of this cell activator that's like rubbing against the top and not breaking that's what happens quite a bit all right she's okay so I see some cute peacocks happening I mean Cute color palette. Again, it's just the thickness that's, you know. Normally I would take a skewer and move around the black a bit if it's bothering me. 
Um, let's start spinning. I don't want to judge her yet. You know? She's spinning nicely. She's stretching one way. I definitely don't think I'm gonna get her to the edges. I don't know. But that's okay. I don't mind the negative space. I'm just not used to. It shows you the difference when you have See the peacocks when you're having um, a thin pillow versus a thick pillow. Okay, what is she doing? She's going off too many different sides. Cute, cute, not like exciting me, and it's not. I don't think it's the color's fault. I think it's my pillow, thick pillow thing. But I'm not gonna judge yet. Worst comes to worst, you know what I might do? I might use a tinted color to go. That's more my speed for, for thickness, because I don't wanna judge these colors. So you'll see, if your pants are too thick or your pillow's too thick, you'll see your colors really kind of look faded and almost dirty, almost. So you'll see, uh, when you see paintings like that, like in this corner here, it just means that there's something too thick and your paints aren't liking what's going on, you know? So I'm gonna keep spinning because I know this paint is thick and we don't want her to crack and I wanna see how far she can go. I might end up pouring over this though, to be honest, because I don't know if I'm going to keep it. Um, so fine, you know what I'm going to show you the difference? I'm going to show you the difference on a pillow that I like, then we can really judge. Because the, the washed out colors, I can't judge yet if it's the two paint, which I don't think it is, or my pillow paint, okay? So this is the before. You'll, you'll notice the edges super washed out. And who wants washed out colors? So what I'm gonna do is grab some, what do I got here? Tricorn black. Now this is a little thinner than what you want, kind of. Oh God, she's stuck, hold on. But I like her, who, no, oh God, thank God. I like her much better. Um, so let's see again. Now we have to layer this a little differently with the black because I'm not going to put yellow directly on black. It'll make a yucky green. But let's see the difference, shall we? Then we can compare. This has become a whole different video. Okay. Now let's put her over here. I'm going to do the same ish kind of thing, but I'm just gonna eliminate, eliminate the yellow, just, you know what I mean? Let's see guys, if there's a bloopy here. Uh, get the bloopy away, okay. Let's stick with it guys, but first, I wanna get this bloop out, yeah, see? Ew, there we go, let's get her off there. All right, so I'm gonna eliminate the yellow and do the same-ish layering. So I'll start with the light purple. All right, and then we'll really see how these colors are. Maybe it is the colors, I don't know. Okay, light purple. We'll go with the blue. Okay. Then I'll go with this gray violet. Then I'll go with the dark violet. And then I will finish with that light yellow. Oh, doing videos. I'm doing videos. Videos. And hopefully this one will look better. Hi fans. Tell the fans how you're doing. You look like you have a cocaine problem. <laughs> You're not supposed to tell who I have paint on my face. Okay, shh, hold on. Stop. You could be hot in paint for sure. Good colors, man. 
Okay, babe, you know you're not supposed to talk while I blow, right? Oh, am I gonna get in trouble? I should leave. Babe, shh, hold on. Much better already. What were we hoping for that was better? Well, I changed the, the originally I did this over, ooh, that's really pretty. I did this over a white pillow paint that was way too thick. Mm -hmm. And I was showing them that it washes your colors out. But look, vibrant, gorgeous. It's a good color with it. Yeah, I like it. So it is the paint. That's a great example of what happens when your pillow paint is too thick. All right, and enjoy it, the rest of the film, guys. Do you want to see my cocaine problem? <laughs> oh, my God. That's horrible. My nose is so itchy because my allergies are so bad. Okay, that's horrendous. Anyways, just ignore that. However, I am enjoying this bloom. And do you know what? I'm going to even enjoy it, even though there's no sparklies. Right? Oh, yeah. Everyone knows not to talk to me while I blow because it's so hard to concentrate sometimes, isn't it? Okay, let's get those white edges off. There you go. So do you see how much this spread, how differently this spreads than a thick one? This is really cute. Okay. Um, I mean, doing a comparison, I feel like this was a, was this a good enough video? Um, without, I guess you guys are going to want to see a comparison, right? That's not fair. I promised you a comparison. Let me just get these edges. How much more have we got to go? A little bit. Yeah, you know what? This is cute. I like it. All right, so I'm going to do a close-up with this, and we're going to do the exact same thing with one sparkly, and then we'll really do the test. Our sparklies make or break. You know what I mean? this is cute all right be right back okay I started putting my color to go down I wanted to make sure I had enough I might you know what I might just have enough or I put a little bit more because this does spin but it would just be unpleasant. Yeah, you know what? Mm. Let me just. Yeah, I'll probably put a little bit more in the middle. So many lessons. I'm curious. I mean, I know obviously I'm going to like the sparkle, but I'm curious to hear if you guys think it like makes such a difference. However, to be honest, I'm only using one sparkle, which isn't a fair comparison. I probably should do like the full tilt like th at least three sparkles you know what i mean and then you can kind of see you know what's going on okay so why don't i do that uh we will start with that light i'm just going to use whatever sparkles i have already mixed up okay so we have that and right on top of that i just happen to have do i no no Ooh, yeah. Why don't I put this sequins? Should I do that? Why not? Sequins is a violet interference by TLP. Oops. She's kind of thick because she's been sitting around a while. That's okay. Okay, so we got sequins in there. Now, on top of her, why don't I go this medium? That's oh, kind of too close, isn't it? Oh, well. Okay. And on top of that, why don't I just put a bit, this is ballet slipper, TLP, just a bit. I probably should have separated those two purples a little bit more because I don't remember how I layered them last time. Okay, then uh, why don't I do this? Oh, Elliot's singing again, always when I'm filming. Okay, um, I'll leave that. Then I'll do blue. I mean, yeah, this blue. On top of that, I'll do twinkle, which is a blue-violet interference, which I learned. And then I'll do the yellow on top, and that will be that. So I have three sparklies in here, okay? Let's see. At least we know these um, two paints are nice, and it was my pillow that was not nice, you know? Okay, here we go. 
Oops, I gotta stick something in there. Okay, my blow totally screwed up because there was a bloop in there and I couldn't get it. So. Um, I don't know where that bloop is, but let's wait a minute. So right now, oh yeah, that sparkle's good. I'm just kind of looking, you're, you can't, I'm not sure you can see in the light yet, but I'm gonna show you. So the sparkles make it look cool. There is going to be a bloop, which is going to annoy me. Let's see if I can find it. Okay. So by the way, the point is, yes, I, for me, sparkle might be my thing, but sparkle is not everybody's thing. And I'm very happy with the first bloom I did without any sparkle. So it's not like a make or break thing. It is kind of just like putting on a little extra makeup. You know what I mean? So <clears throat> that's my opinion anyways. I hope you guys agree. Um, all right. Well, you know what? I really like these colors. I like these new tube paints. I like that I got to compare for you what happens um, when something isn't going right for you. And you need to always make sure that your ingredients and every level of your ingredient is on point. So if you learned something, if you like this video, Please like, you know, I always, people are like, you never tell people to like your video because I always forget. So guys, if you like this video, you can press the like button. If you want to subscribe and find out when I do more amazingly fun videos, press that subscribe button and let me know what you think. I'm going to do a close up of this, of these sparklies. Love you guys. Have a good day. Bye.